Oh my God.
Oh. Okay, welcome everyone. Um, please join us in saluting the flag by saying the Pledge of Allegiance followed by a performance of our national anthem by our vocal ensemble. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Welcome to the 2021 National Honor Society Induction Ceremony. The students in this organization are truly the best and brightest students Downingtown East has to offer. You are caring, ambitious, intelligent, and most importantly, selfless. You display a desire to help your community and those in it through your membership in this organization, along with your commitment to achievement and academic excellence. As a leader of this group, I felt extremely proud and privileged to work with such an incredible collection of people, just as I'm sure your families are very proud of you. More importantly, however, is that you feel proud of yourselves tonight for the good you have done for the people around you, this school, and this community. The hours you put into this society have benefited countless organizations and charities. NHS has provided special needs individuals with Christmas presents at the Devereux School. In the fall, the society collected canned goods to help the Chester County Food Bank feed underprivileged families in our community. Through the donations of our members, we collected over 500 pounds of canned goods and $475 worth of gift cards to local grocery stores. Members also participated in several opportunities to help the district fund and carry out events for our elementary, middle, and high schools. It is an amazing group of almost 200 generous members. In total, our members have served 1,205 hours this year. To our graduating class, congratulations on an impressive high school career. Your years of participation in the National Honor Society distinguish you as people who care about their impact on the larger world. The values of scholarship, service, leadership, and character will always remain a part of your journey each and every day. Continue to live by these values as you constantly try to be the best person you can be. Be involved in the new schools you attend and always give back to the community, community that surrounds you. Strive to succeed in whichever major or job you pursue. Guide and support others through the struggles and hardships of life. Always carry yourself with humility and integrity. To the juniors, you are on a wonderful course. The rigor of junior year will soon come to a close and you will soon face new challenges and opportunities as you begin the end of your high school career. We thank you for your dedication to NHS during a year of countless other priorities and obligations. Next year, strive to make the National Honor Society all that you can as you continue to work for this school and community. This organization's resources are now at your fingertips. Use them to leave your mark on Downingtown. In life, you will always be remembered by what you give to others. To all our new inductees, congratulations on your acceptance to the National Honor Society. It truly reflects your hard work academically and your extracurricular commitment to this school and outside of it. I ask you to put that same level of hard work and commitment into this society. NHS strives to improve the lives of those in our community and for that it deserves your best effort. I truly believe that many of the junior and senior members in this room applied to NHS because they really wanted to help others. I also believe that some of the junior and senior members in this room applied to NHS because they wanted a volunteer organization to put on their college applications. 
Whether you're the former or the latter, you will most definitely have a meaningful experience through NHS. All you need to do is look for it. We would like to thank Ms. Resnick for the countless hours she put into the National Honor Society this year and every year. She chose to take time out of her life to run this organization and in doing so, broaden the reach of NHS and its members, allowing us to do more and help more people than we could ever hope to without her. With her guidance, she has helped make all of us more effective leaders during our time in NHS. Additionally, we would like to give a huge thank you to Dr. Diesner for taking over NHS in the middle of the year. We would not have been able to finish this year successfully without him, and we have no doubt that he will continue to have an amazing impact on the organization throughout the coming years. Finally, we would like to thank the parents of our members for attending this evening. Your support and encouragement has allowed your children to flourish into the successful young adults they are today. You have every right to be proud of everything they have accomplished so far and everything they will continue to accomplish in the coming years. We will now ask Mr. Hurley to come to the stage to speak. Mr. Hurley works tirelessly to make this school one of the best in the country and for that we are extremely grateful. He inspires both the faculty and the student body to put their best effort forward every day to make the most out of all situations. Good evening. We are so very pleased that you could join us this evening for our National Honor Society induction ceremony. The National Honor Society has been in existence since 1921. This organization is one of the most prestigious student organizations in the country. It is not just an honor roll. The National Honor Society recognizes those students who have demonstrated excellence in the area of scholarship, leadership, service, and character. In order for a student to be considered for entry, they must have at least a 3.5 grade point average, be involved in two activities in the school or in the community, be highly recommended by their teachers, and demonstrate good citizenship, both in the building and on Zoom. As principal, I am extremely proud to have 167 members in our chapter. This evening, we will induct 102 new members. If my math is correct, that will total 269 students in Downingtown East High School's chapter of the National Honor Society. This is approximately 15% of our student body. What a wonderful testament to the outstanding community we live in the families of our students and our students. The students here this evening need to be commended for their ability to excel in the classroom while acting as leaders in the student community. Parents, you should take great pride in your child's accomplishments. After all, the first teacher they had was you. For our new members, I wish to congratulate you on your achievement and to remind you that once a student becomes a member, it is an expectation and a requirement that they maintain their academic performance, act as leaders and role models, and continue their involvement in the school community. Our chapter of the National Honor Society has performed countless hours of community service that have benefited many, many worthwhile causes and charities. I ask that the new members of the Honor Society maintain this level of service, perhaps even exceed it. In closing, I would like to take a moment to thank our senior members of the National Honor Society for their leadership, community service, and the positive manner in which you have represented Downingtown East High School. Four years ago, when you were freshmen, I asked you to get involved in our school community and you certainly have honored my request, and I am very, very proud of your accomplishments. This event this evening marks the beginning of the end of your senior year, and I am certain that those of you who are moving on to college next year will continue to excel in the classroom and represent your colleges as positively as you have Downingtown East High School. So seniors, 
I thank you for your leadership and for your service to our school and community. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Hurley. Members of the Downingtown East chapter of the National Honor Society are chosen because they effectively demonstrate the four qualities held in high esteem by the society. As we light these candles, four of our officers will review these qualities. Scholarship. Scholarship means a commitment to learning. A student must be willing to spend hours reading and studying, knowing the, the lasting benefits of a cultivated mind. Knowledge is one great element in life, leading to the highest of successes and greatest of opportunities, and can be acquired only through diligence and effort. Learning furnishes the lamp by which we read the past and lights the future. Candidates have the power to continually expand their world through the opportunities inherent in scholarship. Service. Service is the act of helping or doing work for something. Service is done without the expectation of reward or recognition. Each of our members throughout the year perform numerous acts of service to our community in order to give back. In doing so, we hope to lead to the creation of a better tomorrow. New members are expected to continue these selfish ministrations and service in every way possible with the National Honor Society. Leadership. Leaders are the individuals who take the initiative to dream, dare, do. They strive to help others achieve that same objective, whether they are dealing with global issues or in our case, school and community involvement. A leader is someone whose confidence allows them to go forward when others hesitate. True leaders are willing to sacrifice their time and personal interests so that others may benefit. Parents, staff, and friends, the individuals sitting before you today have responded to the call of leadership. As we move forward, it is now our challenge to the candidates to stay and continue involved to help us lead our school and community. Character. Character is the passion within each individual which distinguishes them from others. It is with strong character that an individual can grow to respect themselves and earn the respect of others. Character is achieved and not received. It is the product of constant action, striving daily to make the right choice. We must be what we hope to appear to others by demonstrating such qualities as reliability, honesty, and sincerity. We hope to prove that we value character. We will now present the new members of Downingtown East chapter of the National Honor Society, starting with the juniors and followed by the sophomores. Please light your candle when your name is read and hold all applause until all the names are read. Class of 2022 inductees, Sarah Burdinsky, Vaughn Chilea, Andrew Dombrowski, Ryan Doyle, Charlotte Farley, Connor Flannery, Michael Giardino, Vincent Giardino, Caleb Hawk, Madeline Hilty, Nicholas Kraus, Rohan Chiata, Christopher Leo, Benjamin Parr, Jenna Porter, Victoria Ross, Sahad Shaharov, and Ava Trushin. Now for the class of 2023, Damon Alston, Stuti Anand, Rishi Atarde, Elizabeth Azat, Lexi Barr, Alexa Barton, Samuel Barton, Abigail Bemis, McKenna Best, James Blake, Matthew Bolger, Frederick Bono, Nicole Burke, Kyle Cannon, Rhea Chapta, Anjali Chungapali, Matthew Comer, Zachary Cook, Justin Coral, Grace Davies, 
Aidan Delaney, Andrea DeLuca, Katerina Diaz, Colin Drummond, Olivia Effinger, Emily Engel, Delaney Farron, Abhinav Ganeshan, Anarud Ganeshan, Sanvi Gupta, Yajit Gupta, Eileen Hewitt, Colin Jackson, Aditya Jain, Jillian Johnston, John V. Karusala, Catherine Keyboard, Bryson Kalinsky, Brithvik Kondaviti, Lauren Kunkel, James Lamb, Sri Ram Lanka, Megan Latch, Salga Lazda, Mary Lohr, Smithy Mahendran, Kayla Manuel, Vincent Macero, William McHale, Chaitrali Moore, and Kira Moser. Kari Morales, Anshu Najabairuva, Dhruva Nagesh, Shriya Nair, Caitlin Nguyen, Kwan Nguyen, Rathika Nudi, Abigail O'Donnell, William Owens, Prati Pakarakari, William Pan, Janavi Potabanla, Rebecca Reese, Colin Relin, Ariana Rokowitz, Christopher Rugeri, Amelia Ryan, Sloka Samanthala, Riley Scott, Mahitha Silam, Anshu Shinde, Pierce Ship, Rashika Sikoli, Brooke Sabaluski, Nidi Soma, Abhinit Srivastava, Olivia Steinbach, Samantha Tierney, Claire Travis, Juliana Upham, Raghav Verma, Sam Williams, and Suhas Yalamuchili. New inductees, please raise your right hand and repeat the pledge after me. I pledge myself. I pledge myself. I pledge myself. Always to seek the light of truth. Always to seek the light of truth. To hold scholarly habits. To hold scholarly habits. To engage in worthy service. To engage in worthy service. And to lead forward in all things. And to lead forward in all things. That shall advance the welfare of the school. That shall advance the welfare of the school. Congratulations, new members. You are now part of the Downtown East National Honor Society. Thank you very much. It is now time to present the class of 2021 and where they will be attending this fall. Given that some of the official deadlines for most schools are May 1st, some students are still undecided. Please hold all applause until the last name is read. Evan Auker, Penn State University. Sini Burkheiser, undecided. Shrikar Bumaretti, Georgia Institute of Technology. Will Bolger, Penn State Altoona. Caroline Brennan, Monmouth University. Samantha Camper, University of South Florida. Andrew Seglia, undecided. Gabrielle Chaco, undecided. Kate Siselka, undecided. Quentin Chilea, undecided. Tim Cohen, Penn State University. Kayla Corbo, undecided. Nat Natalie Delone, Penn State University. Kelly Del Pino, University of Pittsburgh. Julia Dockstader, Temple University. Kevin Dougherty, University of Central Florida. Grace Drury, Ithaca College. Catherine Emmert, University of Pittsburgh. Riley Erickson, University of Pittsburgh. Daniel Gibson, Penn State University. Anna Hankin, University of Richmond. Joseph Hennessy, Penn State University. Allie Hunter, Longwood University. Tegan Hurst, Westchester University. Miriam Ismael, undecided. Omar John, undecided. Jillian Jarrett, Drexel University. Ian Kendall, undecided. Samira Kazaki, undecided. Sophia Klingen, Ringling College of Art and Design. Rebecca Koblish, Northeastern University. Sophia Koloff, Penn State University. Shreeman Kundavaram, University of California, Berkeley. Annalise Large, Westchester University. Jenna Ledbeter, Penn State University. 
Ryan Laboon, Penn State University, Jeremy Long, Penn State University, Emily Mastroli, Undecided, Madison McAvoy, Penn State University, Mary McFillin, Widener University Honors Program, Jackson McGovern, Boston Conservatory at Berkeley, Megan McSherry, Undecided, Nithika Menon, Undecided, Claudia Miller, Undecided, Hannah Moses, University of Delaware, Andrew Murda, Unita College, Ann Wynn, Temple University, Ali O'Grady, Marist College Honors Program, Daniela Ordaz, Undecided, Alexa Ortner, Drexel University, Michael Ostertag, Ohio Wesleyan University, Claudia Pantalone, University of Pittsburgh. Rhea Parikh, Undecided, Abhinav Pillai, University of Pittsburgh Honors Program, Lakshmi Pinamala, University of Maryland, Warren Pixley, Dickinson College, Haig Pogarian, Northeastern University, William Key, University of Pennsylvania, Ana Ramirez, Penn State University, Advika Ravishankar, Undecided, Thomas Riley, University of Pittsburgh, Bridget Riley, Lynn University, Isabella Sand, Penn State University, Aaron Scavuzzo, Syracuse University, Aperva Sista, Penn State University, Amita Sandarajan, Villanova University, Peter Stauffer, St. Charles Borromeo Seminary, Danielle Taylor, Undecided, Sonia Vaidya, Cornell University, Sammy Valancourt, Penn State University, Nick Vitri, Lehigh University Honors Program, Sanjana Vinjamuri, Undecided, Jimmy Warden, University of North Carolina, Wilmington Honors Program, Taylor Weist, Clemson University, Jackie Cupson, Penn State University, and Matthew Zong, Georgia Institute of Technology. Neha Kohli plans to major a dual major in environmental studies and public health next year, but is currently undecided on which school. Melanie Eads will be studying communication sciences and disorders at either Penn State University or the University of Tampa. Sydney Colhane will be attending the University of Pittsburgh. There, she, she will be a part of the nursing program. Hannah Scott will be attending Bucknell University as a selected student of the Presidential Fellowship Program. She'll be majoring in biology. Lauren Klunk will be attending the University of Pittsburgh. She will be studying secondary education and mathematics. Catherine McFarlane will be attending Drexel University as a part of the Honors College Program. She will be majoring in environmental science. Ladies and gentlemen, we present the class of 2021. You may now be seated. The following students served as committee chairs this year. Committee chairs organize and implement all National Honor Society events. Without them, the National Honor Society would not function as well as it does. Giving Tree, Avi Pillai, Emily Mastroli, and Omar John. Tutors, Aperva Sista and Jenna Ledbader. Teacher aiding, Danny Gibson and Tegan Hurst. Inductees, Amitha Sanaraharan and Nick Vitri. Fall induction, Grace Drury and Advika Ravashankar. Spring induction, Sriman Kundavaram and Aaron Scavuso. Chocolate sales, Will Key and Matt Zong and Sonia Veda. Canned food drive, Katie Emmert, Riley Erickson and Kate Zaselka. New student welcome, Annalise Large and Jackson McGovern. Thank you all so much for your help, hard work and service. The following students have are 10 to 15 credits. They have done, they've gone above and beyond our expectations. Ali Hunter, Hannah Moses, Emily Mastroli, Alexa Ortner, Alexa Sheffo, Michael Flaherty, Julia Gale, Aditi Golokato, Kelsey Green, Lauren Kent, Isabel McIntyre, Charlotte Najelski, and Grace Roth. Congratulations, and thank you for your dedication. 
We will now further distinguish those who have earned over 15 credits this year by presenting them with the Outstanding Service Award. Julia Dockstader, Anna Hankin, Ananya Golakota, Corey Yurkovic, and Jack Ucupson. Please give these students a round of applause. It is now time to announce the officers for the 2021-2022 school year. Replacing me as attendance secretary will be a member who is committed to helping the community. Congratulations to Jesslyn Givarsi. I'm pleased to announce that next year's recording secretary will be Izzy John. Taking my place as treasurer next year will be Pals Patel. Congratulations. I'm extremely excited and proud to announce Daniel Yu as next year's vice president. Congratulations. Taking on the role of co-president for the 2021-2022 school year will be Brady Dennis. And finally, I have the pleasure of announcing the second co-president of NHS for the next school year as Alessia Boazzo. Before we conclude our ceremony, we would like to invite Dr. Diesner to speak a few words. Good evening. I'm Dr. Diesner. I'm the new advisor to the National Honor Society here at East. As I think about the remarkable young people that we have before us tonight, I want to take an opportunity to thank all of you for being a part of this and for allowing me to be a part of your successes and achievements. Thank you to the executive board, Catherine, Lauren, Hannah, Sydney. Melanie and Miha, for guiding me as much as I have guided them over the last few months. They're a special group and have served the organization extraordinarily well. Thank you to Mr. Hurley and Ms. Resnick for assisting me with this transition and for caring deeply about this organization and its students. And a special thank you to the current and new members of the National Honor Society. Your dedication to being the best version of yourself and for serving the greater community is inspiring. To those same students, I offer this. We have come upon a time of transition. For some of you, transition into a new organization with new responsibilities, new leadership experiences for our rising seniors, and for some, transition away from East following graduation in a few short weeks. The whole world in front of you. As you embark on these new adventures, here is my humble advice. Number one, put yourself in the path of someone who challenges and supports you, a teacher, advisor, mentor, friend, Surround yourself with people who will celebrate your successes and take note when you are going through a tough time. Number two, do something you are likely to fail at. Be okay with that. You'll be amazed when you succeed and learn deep and meaningful lessons when you don't. The world doesn't expect you to be perfect, I promise. Number three, take the time to reflect. The more you think about your experiences, the better you will understand your own values, strengths, and areas to grow. The more in tune you are with yourself, the more genuine you will be as a leader. And finally, put your considerable gifts to good use. You're a talented group of individuals, but we are stronger together. Keep service at the heart of what you do and take care of those who have not been given the same gifts that you have. My congratulations to you and your families this evening. I'll turn things back over to Catherine to bring the ceremony to a close. Thank you, Dr. Diesner. I would like to congratulate all the honored students and thank you all for attending this evening. A special thanks to the faculty and staff members and students who've helped with this evening's event. Also, I'd like to thank the NHS members who helped with all of the events that we have sponsored this year. As you can tell by the service awards, we were very active. Our NHS members have done an outstanding job and we look forward to another year of outstanding service. Have a, have a wonderful evening and good night.